Matt Panto here on GoLeopards.com as we get set to preview a pivotal matchup for Lafayette men's basketball team as they get set to host one of the two teams leading the Patriot League right now, and this time the Bucknell Bison and assistant coach John O'Connor. And John, obviously not the way we wanted things to go last night, but some motivation coming into a, what is a very big game here on Saturday. Yeah, I think, you know, last night it's one of those situations in a long season where you, you know, you may have to go through, unfortunately, at home. Uh, you know, one of the keys to any season is trying to protect your home court and to get beat like that at home, you know, it's something we're going to have to pick ourselves up and move forward. Um, going into Saturday, uh, it's a huge game for us. Obviously, you know, you're fighting for those four spots, you know, to get a home game in the playoffs. And right now, still sitting in that third spot, you know, we got to, again, try to take care of this home court. Take a look at the game notes here for this game. Lafayette comes into the game 12 and 14 overall, 5 and 4 in the Patriot League. They currently sit in alone in third place. Tony Johnson just having a fantastic senior season. Eighth now career in all-time career assists in Lafayette history with 339. The Leopards are 9 and 3 inside Kirby Sports Center between 2012 and 2013. Levi Geese had his 100th career block against Army, one of the few bright spots, but certainly well-deserved for Levi, playing a little bit under the weather. Bucknell comes in 21-4 overall, 8-1 in the Patriot League. They're led by Mike Mascala down low, 19 points, 11.4 rebounds per game. And Coach, just very generally, some offensive keys to Saturday afternoon. Offensively, I think for us, we got to try to find who we are now. With Dan not being there, uh, it takes a big, you know, huge gap into what we are offensively. You know, you get to this point of the year in February, everybody kind of knows their role and kind of knows when they're going into a game. And now it's, you know, with him not being there, everything's kind of shuffled around. So we're just trying to find ourselves again offensively. You know, whether we're going to play small or we're gonna try to give one of the young kids an opportunity. You know, again, we're, you know, we're trying to find out who we are again. You look at the defensive, and last time we talked, we talked about certainly we highlight Mascala here, but outside, Bryson Johnson, errors on the outside. They can shoot the three ball as well, as well as Mascala and Wilman down low. Your defensive keys to Saturday. Uh, the biggest one, I think, is the last game, you know, Mike Mascala comes away at 27 and, and uh, 15 against us. Um, you know, he's a great player, but you got to get him down below. And I think, you know, for a goal for us is to get him somewhere in that 15 to 16 and maybe 10 rebounds. I mean, you ain't going to totally shut him out, but you got to get him down into a situation where it's a little more manageable because Bucknell's not going to allow you to get a lot of possessions. And if, if Mike's getting 27 and 15, uh, it's awful tough to kind of make that up. So that's a huge part of it. We got to get him into a into a, uh, an area where we can kind of work a little bit. And I think the other thing is like you're saying, with Bryce, and, with Bryce Johnson and, and with Ayers, you, you can't let them make them big threes. And, uh, you know, like Army played them very well this, last Saturday, kept uh, Mescala down low as far as his number, but yet let those two hit some big shots at the end of the game and end up losing by, you know, two. So it's, uh, you know, how are you going to pick your poison here? So it's, it's tough, but I think they're the key things. Try to get Michael you know, down into a, a numbers where you're a little more manageable and try to keep them away from those big threes. We're looking forward to getting back to the winning ways on Saturday. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Matt Panto here for GoLeopards.com. You can watch the game on the Lafayette Sports Network on Saturday and GoLeopards.com. My suggestion, just come to Kirby Sports Center and be a part of what is going to be a great atmosphere.